Hi, Braintech here, where tech is made simple. So, after a recent bad run of NVIDIA driver updates, where the drivers were causing black screens and wrong temps, as I posted a couple of days ago, NVIDIA rolled out an emergency hotfix driver, 576.15, to fix black screens and wrong temps caused by 576.02. Now, I have seen in the comments and also reports during the rounds online that even the hotfix was still causing issues and a lot of folks, even on the channel, were kind of losing trust in NVIDIA that they cannot fix this issue, mainly with the RTX 50 series, which has been off to a very rocky start. Now, just to let you know that NVIDIA now has just released another emergency hotfix update and it's got quite a list of bugs that have been squashed once again mainly in the RTX 50 series um, GPUs so you can now download GeForce hotfix display driver version 576.26 which is basically a hotfix to fix a hotfix and it rolled out yesterday on the 28th of April. Now, once again, mainly addressing issues as mentioned with the RTX 50 series. I've just under underlined most of the fixes for that series in the yellow, as you can see. So we got game will randomly crash. According to NVIDIA, that's been patched. Game crashes shortly after starting in DX12 mode. The game freezes after loading a saved game. Gray screen crashes with multiple monitors. The game crashes after updating to Game Ready Driver 576.02. So that's quite an important one because that's where all the issues started. Flickering background textures fixes that. Momentary display flicker occurs when running in DisplayPort 2.1 mode with a high refresh rate. So you can see this emergency hotfix is NVIDIA's attempt to try and fix issues that have been caused by previous drivers, mainly with RTX 50 series. And it also says that this hotfix driver incorporates the fixes introduced in the previous hotfix, 576.15. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. And it will contain all those previous fixes. And you can just click on this link to download this latest driver for Windows 10 and Windows 11 um, if you are experiencing issues. Now, as I always say with driver updates, and I know it sounds repetitive, but it's actually important. Only download this latest hotfix if you are experiencing any issues that we have been talking about. Else just ignore the driver. Because if your system is running fine, the latest and greatest driver sometimes can actually cause more problems than it's actually trying to resolve. So that's my advice. But nonetheless, just wanted to put it out there because this has gained a bit of interest on the channel. And just wanted to do this quick update video um, just to let you guys know if you were affected. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.